Hey guys, what's up? It's Monkelzonki, and welcome to the next episode of the Road to Max Cape. Now this is kind of a sad episode because the Road to the Max Cape series is winding down. There will not be very many more episodes. Um, I'm guessing that this is probably the second to last episode of the Road to Max Cape until the series changes names and becomes the Road to the Completionist Cape because uh, I am planning to go for comp after I max out. So um, I won't look at my stats because you'll see what levels I get uh, during the screenshot clips coming up in just a second, but I just wanted to say it's time for me to start camping rune span. Um, I am probably going to not leave this place until I get 99 rune crafting. That's the plan which is going to be um, at least a week, maybe a bit more, and it's not going to be fun at all. But uh, I'll try my best to just camp it out and stay here and not leave and uh, get 99 room crafting, which will help a lot. So anyway, that's all for the intro. It's time to move on into the level up clips, and I will show you guys which levels and which 99s I have received since the last episode. So now it's time to get into the clips. I actually do have nine levels for... I almost said this week. I meant this episode. The first one is a Dungeoneering level, which was 101 Dungeoneering. Of course, I do... Or 102 Dungeoneering. Excuse me. I try to do my uh, large floor every day and then turn in my Dungeoneering daily challenge, so that adds up to some good XP. And then here was 98 Mining, which I was a failure and did not record, so I just got a screenshot of that one. And the next one coming up, um, well, still on the subject of mining, um, I actually did just one Warbands game because I was really close to 99 mining and I was getting a bit squirrely and I didn't really feel like doing another hour of mining. So I decided to do one quick Warbands game and I did uh, manage to do that and I turned it in and I got 99, so that was awesome. That's the first 99 of this episode. There are more that are coming. Uh, the next 99 is coming up pretty soon, which is 98 Hunter, not 99 yet, and I will get 99 this episode as well. As I can remember last episode, I was 97 Hunter, so um, yeah, that all checks out there. And then I was actually uh, just in Verox Square with a couple friends who decided to come along and see me get 99 Hunter, so I decided to do that, and hey, we achieved the 99 Hunter, so that was great because that's a 99 I did not particularly enjoy, um, so I got that one out of the way and completed with. Um, so it's time to move on to better skills, and when I say better skills, I mean woodcutting. Um, I did a lot of woodcutting this past week, and uh, the first level that I got was 95. Um, it's not going to stop there. Uh, still a lot more woodcutting to go. Just a small little warning. Um, I was doing Arctic Pines. Uh, this should be 96 woodcutting coming up. Um, and I believe the XP was about 115k an hour, roughly. That's with Avatar and Urns and the Infer Inferno ads and all that. And it was also quite AFK. Um, it's not nearly as much not paying attention as Ivy, where you can just sit back and relax and barely have to click it all for Ivy. There's a little more than that because you do have to uh, spam the action bar to drop every once in a while. But. Um, I really enjoyed Arctic Pines. That was a lot of fun. It's kind of a 99 I almost miss not training because um, I'm done with woodcutting now, as you will see very shortly. But there's 103 Dungeoneering, and that's where I'm at at the moment. Sadly, I've not got 104 yet. Um, that Yeah, I'm stuck at 103, and here is 97 woodcutting. And unfortunately, I was a failure and did not record 98 because I was... I think I was getting food or something when it happened, and I got 98 because I wasn't paying attention, so that's a bit of a fail. And here is 99 woodcutting. This was earlier today, and uh, yeah, another 99 completed, and I only have two left, which is pretty insane, uh, if you do ask me. So here is the calculator that I use to uh, calculate things, um, and unfortunately I did lobby, but for whatever reason it's not counting my 99 wood cutting. It's only counting 98, so I'm assuming the high scores haven't quite updated yet. It was only about um, an hour and a half ago that I got 99 wood cutting, so it wasn't that long, but for some reason it's still saying I have 98, but oh well. Uh, if we look on the uh, percentage here, I, it says I'm 97% to the max cape, which is extremely close, and um, if you if we click here, it says toggle complete skills, so um, it's got a small XP tracker down here. Don't uh, don't think about that, but here we have only woodcutting, fishing, and runecrafting left. Um, obviously, woodcutting is now checked off because I have 99, so it's only fishing and runecrafting left as my only two 99s that I still have to get for the max cape, so that's pretty exciting. 
Um, and of course, uh, I will have a link to this calculator down in the description as always, but there are a couple other things that I do want to show on this website that I have not shown before. The first of those being the XP tracker. So since I started this XP tracking thing, which I think was about a couple of weeks ago or a week and a half ago, I've gained uh, 4.5 million woodcutting XP. Yeah, that's pretty intense. And 1.2 mil fire making. That was all from cutting the Arctic pines because you get fire making as well because of the ads. Um, 630k mining XP. I think that's when I was finishing off mining as a 99. About a million farm XP because I have been doing those runs every day. Uh, 2.2 million hunter XP and 2.3 million dungeoneering XP. Uh, that's not all. I just that's like um, this is the amount of XP that I've gained since the last episode of the Road to Max Cape. So if anyone was wondering, and I'm going to reset this now. So um, during the next episode of the Road to Max Cape, I can see the XP that I've got just for my own personal tracking uses. So what did I wanted what I wanted to show on this website that I personally thought was really cool. Um, was the uh, the trimmed completionist cape and the regular completionist cape uh, requirements. So what you can do is um, it has like a little checklist of all the requirements and obviously I haven't updated it this since last week so the total level that I have is now 2470 and I now have 930 music tracks out of 932. But this is just kind of cool because you can go down the list and um, write down everything that you have not uh, checked off. So, like, there's the Fremenic Sagas. Uh, as, as you do each of those, you check them off. And um, a lot of these I've done, like, Killed QBD, I've done that, I've done the Fight Kiln. Uh, everyone's done the Stronghold of Player Safety. Uh, a few of the mini quests, I have not done all of these because um, never really saw any reason to. Like, I've done all the Kudos in the Varrock Museum. Obviously, I've done all the tasks, which I'm very proud of, and I've done all the quests and uh, most of the music. And then here, this is the, the rough one for Completionist Cape, but this is going to be useful because I am going to be going for the Completionist Cape um, pretty soon, actually. And I will have to do Livid Farm, which I'm really, really not looking forward to. Every, th everything else here uh, doesn't seem too bad other than the Livid Farm. And actually, this Rapid Renewal Prayer, I do have enough DG tokens to go and buy that, so I might do that pretty soon. And then, obviously, under the trimmed requirements, um, just for fun, I checked off what I've done. I've only done, like, the kind of really basic things that almost everyone has done. Um, so, yeah, I don't think I'll ever be getting trimmed, but that is just kind of useful. I have done all the uh, Artisan's Workshop. That's something kind of cool. And the Dragonkin Journals. But uh, this is just kind of a little cool checklist if you happen to be going for Completionist Cape that I think is pretty useful. So once the series actually turns into a Completionist Cape series, I will probably be using this checklist a little more. But anyway, uh, I just want to thank you all for watching, and um, hopefully you enjoyed this Road to Max Cape, and the next one should be the last one. Um, I should have one last Road to Max Cape when I'm just about ready to get my Max Cape. I'll probably have 99 room crafting at the time and nearly 99 fishing, and that's when I'll do my next Road to Max Cape episode. Um, so, yeah, that's going to be all. Thanks for watching, and farewell.